His, his lip is bleeding. Yeah. The young man right here. Citronelle police say a fight over the weekend in McDonald's parking lot ignited multiple fights at school and across the city. Crazy. It's crazy. I was just really surprised that that's happening up here. I mean, stuff like that don't happen up here. Chief Tyler Norris says that dispute carried over to Citronelle High Monday, where there was another fight. Surveillance video from Freeman's funeral home captures what happened next. They met there in the parking lot to fight again Monday. You can see multiple cars pull up, boys hop out, and at one point, someone's body slammed. Moments later, the chief just so happens to roll by. And when I got to the uh, Regions Bank here to turn to come to the police department, I noticed the big commotion on top of the hill, so I drove up there. He says when he tried to stop it, 18-year-old Demarcus Scott elbowed him in the face. He was arrested and charged with assault. I got several complaints of a fight up here. What are y'all doing up here? Tell answer it. Video from a viewer shows another officer at the scene trying to calm the situation down. We're trying to figure out what's going on here in order to fix this situation as far as folks up here fighting. I got several folks calling all over saying that you up here got a free-for-all fight going. Norris says today there was a fourth fight in the school's cafeteria. He says four teens and two parents were arrested. He says the parents got disorderly when they were called to the school. Norris says he's calling on parents to step up and help put an end to this. That's been my biggest frustration as with this with these kids when they get out of control their parents don't help me. Their parents don't reinforce any kind of discipline at all. We need to get back to ground zero at home. That's where this starts.